Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe I think I had the weirdest dream. It was like voices really freaking me out. And I can't. Wait. I can't sleep. Well, I'm here waiting at the airport. My flight's about to leave. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica, and welcome to the fan carpet. Make a collector's edition of the, like when you release it on home, on, on like for, for home entertainment have blu-ray extras or dvd extras you know what they used to do where they had like making of documentaries about like the the whole thing just have like the whole the whole interviews as extras <laughs> well, that'd be a good idea that's a good idea because i was like uh, we should have done a bunch of things i mean we could like i have the original three hour long film I don't think anybody wants to sit through the three hour. My my the people who helped we sat through this film multiple times and we were like, yo, we gotta cut this down. This is too much stuff here. Yeah. But it's like it's interesting, it's fun. Like the longer I sit basically the, the further I am away from it, the more interesting it is to get into it and rewatch stuff and be like, oh that's that's an interesting twist. I should have put it in, put this in. But I, I don't like doing that because the more I watch it, the more I start going, hey, I can recut it, or I can re-put this. I'm like, once I put it to bed, I'm like, just leave it alone. Move on to the next project. I'm currently working on something else. Stop thinking about the death of April and move forward. Yeah. Um, and then unfortunately you have to speak to people like me and talk about it. And then that gets you that it gets your mind flowing again because you have to talk to me about it. So <laughs> no, not exactly, but it's fun. <laughs> It's fun talking about it. It's, it was a cool, the process was fun. I like, I love the actual shooting of it. I love the preparing, the prep work for it, for any film. It's the post for it, for the film is my nightmare because it's like, I, it's pretty much being director and co-editor, but I have an editor who helps me out. Mm. It's like, you fall in love with things you shoot and sometimes your editor will be like, no. No, that that's great, but it's for the story. It should be out, and they kind of like kicking a kicking your own child out of the project. You're like, but I like it. But I like this. I like it. They're like, yeah, you like it, but it's ten minutes too much. You got to cut it out. Yeah, um, that yeah, I find that too. Um, I was all um, with with my <laughs> with my business partner. I was always uh, we were always butting heads about how long a video should actually be. Uh, because I don't mind like using the whole thing, but mm -hmm. she wanted it short, snappy. <laughs> but yeah. no, that's what I get too. That's yeah, exactly the same. It, but, yeah. Um, but there, <laughs> there's room for both. There's room for both. I mean, I I watch uh, as long as it's interesting. I'll watch an hour up, uh, and I do. I've watched like three hours. No, well, the last thing that I watched on YouTube that was like six, six, seven hours, and that was interesting. So I just watched the whole thing. In one sitting. Yeah. No, no, if I totally it's... get you. I mean, I, I've gone into like some Netflix projects, which are like 10 episodes, and I'll just binge watch the whole thing and I love it. But mm. there are some out there that are like, you waste six six hours watching, you're like, this could have been done in three hours. Or, you just took three hours of my life away from me. Because it depends on the project, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I I found that with the Hobbit, with the Hobbit trilogy, uh, as much as I love Peter Jackson, and I love the like Middle Earth, like world of yeah. the, all of the Rings. The Hobbit didn't need to be three films. <laughs> it didn't. That's it, true. It's true. It didn't. They, they. But then 
I mean, to your point though, uh, with the binge watching of of true crime, or, well, it's not true crime; it's based on a book. But I just finished watching um, uh, "One of Us Is Lying" season two on Netflix. All mm-hmm. ten episodes on Netflix. Dangerous for someone like me because I already loved the first season, and they gave me all ten episodes. And it's like, okay, I'm gonna watch three episodes. Uh, I I start watching three episodes, then three episodes, then four episodes. And then done. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. I, I have to, when I start something, I usually have to sit through the entire process. Yeah. So I'll be in front of my TV for like 14 hours or 10 hours watching stuff. Like I got into Stranger Things. I think Stranger Things this time, they didn't release the entire the mm. whole collection. They cut it. But normally they release the entire, like, I think it's like 13 episodes. And I would just watch the entire 13 episodes. I can't just like watch two and walk away. I I respect people who could do that. I'd be like, I'll watch two and I'll walk away and watch the other ones next week or something like that. I have a problem. I can't stop. So I have oh. to watch everything. Oh, I would have watched the whole thing. It wasn't a yeah. case of not wanting to watch it. It was a case of um, I'd miss it because I'd fall asleep. Not because I wasn't oh. enjoying it. I would I fall asleep at my desk. I start watching it. I fall asleep at my desk and then I miss the next episode. It's like oh. as soon as I feel my ear, as as soon as I feel my eyes going getting heavy, um, I just I just pause it, go to bed, <laughs> and then then pick it up the next morning. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Otherwise, I w- would watch the whole thing in one sitting because I have done. So, um, I did that with Fate, <laughs> the Fate the Wink Saga, season two. Uh-huh. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time. It's been fading away. I don't know what she wants from me because I'm not a paranormal expert. I can't help her. I didn't move here to become obsessed with a ghost. I don't know what's happening to me. She was possessed. I'm not afraid of her. Honestly, I really don't know what I saw. on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you around Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.